So I didn't have the patch that a lot of people have, but mine literally just framed my face and it started progressing backwards. <laughs> yeah, I have a lot of it. Hi, my name is Keisha and I have had gray hair since the second grade. Um, most of it did start coming in late 30s, early 40s, and I let the dye go, embraced it. I let my perm go in my mid 40s and have been natural ever since, and I think it was one of the best decisions I've ever made. So since being gray was one of the best, going gray was one of the best decisions that I've ever made, I'm going to tell you five things that I've learned in these past few years that I've done to damage my gray hair and what not to do. The first way I damaged my gray hair was, um, that I noticed was yellow products. Um, they are a plenty um, with natural hair products. Um, Yellow-based products dulled it, um, to me made it a little bit more weak. Um, and I learned about a year and a half to two years ago, which are hard to find, they're becoming easier to find these days, is white-based products, purple-based products, and blue-based products. Um, even gel, your edge control, just even your, your regular gel you wanna put in for your curls, they were all yellow based and that did nothing good for my gray hair. The second thing I did that damaged my gray hair was heat. Um, when I first went natural after the big chop, I only really flattened my hair for special occasions, definitely during the holidays, which I called my holiday hair. But I noticed afterwards my gray was shorter. Um, it was weaker. I could run my hair through my hair when I washed it and I'm pulling gray hair is sitting right there on my fingers. Um, so heat is just not anything you really wanna do to gray hair um, for me. It just was not anything that that was a benefit for my gray hair and helping me manage it, helping me um, learn how to do my curls or my twist out. Um, it's beautiful, it was easy when you need a break, but definitely, definitely, it's not anything you wanna do on a regular basis. So my third tip is let the dye go. It's a very delicate color. Um, it's a very delicate hair. So then you go and you put on more chemicals. So I had a perm, I'm trying to then dye it, and then it's gray. So right around my crown, it's always short. It's, it breaks off, it grows back, it breaks off again. It never really got as long as the rest of my hair. So now the hairstylist, she's trying to do styles around the damaged part of my gray. And I'm like, you know what? I'm letting the color go. I'm just gonna let color go. Um, even a few weeks ago, I was like, okay, I'm getting tired of my gray. I wanna do henna. And I asked a couple of hairstylists and they're like, no, don't do henna on it. What's gonna happen, the darker you go with the henna, you're gonna get that greenish tint in it when you're ready to let it go. Now you're trying to get a tinted color um, that you're not happy with out of your hair. Honestly, if you wanna get rid of your gray, put a wig on. <laughs> <laughs> and do that for a couple of days and then go back to what you had and your gray is protected. Tip number four, um, I've noticed lately with when I tie my hair, I tie it too tight. So I know you don't want your, 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 your scarf or anything to slip off and that's what I use a scarf. Sometimes I use a bonnet. They all slip off throughout the night. They start here and then they end up back here. Um, but what I've noticed too that I was tying it so tight around my forehead that I was breaking it off that way also. So my fourth tip is, is when you do tie your hair up, don't tie it so tight trying to keep the scarf from slipping off. The fifth thing I've done to damage my hair was overwashing it. Um, when I first went natural, it's short and I did the big chop and I'm like, oh my gosh, I can wash it and go, wash it and go. So I was washing my hair like I did when I had my relaxer every two weeks. And, um, and my hairstylist at the time was like, you don't have to wash it that often. And I'm like, what do you mean? I've been washing my hair weekly or every two weeks for over 30 years. She's like, your hair is natural. What you're doing is you're stripping out all your natural oils, all your natural moisture. And I'm like, I never thought of it like that. 
So what I do now is I try to wash it once a month with shampoo, conditioner, and then deep conditioning it. But what I do throughout the week is I use a spray bottle to moisturize my hair, um, put a little conditioner in there and keep it going like that. And then after I've washed my hair and I do that, it just gets softer and softer and softer throughout the month. And I'm like, well, darn, now I have to wash it because it's been a month. But in the beginning, when I did the big chop, I was completely soaking my hair, um, washing my hair once a week, every two weeks, and I was drying it out. And that's not good for, gray, for your gray hair. Now, with that being said, Curl Mix actually has a 21-day masterclass. If you are looking for help on how to manage your gray curls, definitely join that class. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please click the thumbs up button and let me know below in the comments what other videos you'd like to see. Bye.